you. Thank you, and thank you so much for being here. How many people saw mental health and they were like, Ugh. like I'm not totally comfortable with that. Yeah, we're gonna get really comfortable with it today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We are gonna talk about mental health. We're gonna talk about mental health disorders. Um, but more importantly, we're just gonna talk about being your best mental and physical self. And then we're gonna talk about some strategies to make sure that you are taking care of yourself and promoting your own um, mental and physical health. I think everyone can attest to it's been tough being a farmer recently. We all know there's a lot going on out there and it's really important we start thinking about ourselves. So you wear a lot of hats, right? A caretaker of the land, livestock, etc. Um, and sometimes it starts to look a little bit like this. You become this tiny piece, this tiny puzzle piece in, in the bigger puzzle that is your life, right? And so what we're really going to do today is focus on you again. So currently, um, and I don't think this is a surprise to anybody, but agriculture ranks among the most hazardous industries, uh, physically hazardous industries, by NIOSH, or the um, Occupational Safety and Health Association. Uh, most fatalities and most injuries occur in agriculture compared to all other industries. And it's also identified as one of the most stressful industries. And I don't think any of us would say that it's not stressful. Um, and stress can be hazardous to both physical and mental health. So we talk about stressors on the farm. Um, there are a lot of them. And there's probably more than we can even list here, but obviously financial stress um, has been cited as a major source of stress. Farm stress and mental health gets a lot of attention when all of the markets are, are down, right? So in Wisconsin, dairy farming is just like the absolute worst thing to be in right now. Um, and as a result, we're getting a lot of attention. There's a lot more media attention, scrutiny of the industry, um, and especially focusing on mental health. But um, things can be going really, really well, and a tornado can hit your farm or things can be going really, really well, um, and you have a drought or some you know, huge winds, anything can happen. Um, and so to say that this is a temporary issue and that when the markets rebound, all of this is just gonna like go away is a little naive. You're maybe working multi-generational farm, uh, family farm, you might be trying to work with a sibling, and it's not always easy. And so the stress is never gonna go away even when prices are wonderful. Oh. Prices are high, it might make the stress seem more tolerable, um, but in reality, there's always going to be stressors associated with agriculture. 